Hi, Cat's Cradle here. Uh, this may seem like a silly video to some, but I have a lot of viewers who are new homemakers and are always interested in some of the simple basics, so I'm going to share this with you. Lots of folks, especially folks that know me, ask me how come I'm never sick. And I have lots of answers for that question, but today I'm going to answer, I'm going to give you one of the answers for that. Um, I went one time, eight and a half years at one job with only having missed one day of work uh, due to illness. And I have worked at my current uh, teaching position for five years and I've only, uh, I haven't missed any days uh, during this spell. And I'm just never sick, but here's one of the, here's one of the reasons. All of these things on this on this towel appear to be clean at first sight. They've all been washed. They all look clean. Uh, this thing is just stained from years of use and I'm about to throw it away because I have no need for it. I'm getting rid of non-stick cookware and so I don't need this and I don't want to be uh, using plastic utensils to turn my food anymore so I'm getting rid of this. Uh, but, at, I mean it's wet because it's just washed but it appears to be clean but periodically, I take a toothpick and I go over lots of the equipment I have to make sure that cracks and crevices are clean. Typical stuff that you would just gloss over. You would feel that this is clean and throw it in your uh, dish drainer to dry. But on closer inspection, if you take a toothpick and go in the crevices of, of this tool, which I haven't done in a little while, and I'm going to make Prepper A come and focus over here on this white paper napkin, you can see right there what I just got off of this off of this tool. I hope you can, and even if you focus in here, I don't know if you can get that prepper A, but you can see where I'm scraping here, right here, go here again. See that? That's what I'm scraping off if I go in with a toothpick, and like I said, at first blush, it looks really clean. Here's another thing. Here's a good knife. I use this for grapefruit a lot. It has a little serrated edge. It's just been washed. It looks very clean. But periodically, and I do this with all my knives, I take a toothpick and I come right here where the blade meets the grip and I go in there and I scrub that out. Now mine's pretty clean because I do this pretty frequently with my knives. But, yeah, just very, very little. And just imagine if you had cut up raw chicken with this and did not scrub in here. You don't, you don't really see in here because it's kind of in a shadow, but really gross stuff can get in there. Here's another thing. On this particular grip, there's a little groove cut in there. I also come down that groove with my, with my uh, toothpick. Look right here. See? Can you see the white stuff I just got out of there? Mm -hmm. I'm coming up here in that groove. Yep. This one actually looks like it's kind of coming apart. I may toss this one. Yeah. See, now on, on inspection, see how my toothpick looks? I'm going to change toothpicks now. I may actually throw this knife away because it looks like the grip is coming apart here. Well, that's unfortunate. But you have to do that sometime. Look, see, this is just, this is a really good knife, too. Yep. The, uh, the rubber on this has been compromised. I never would have known that had that toothpick not run under there. Let me see if I can just tear this off and still make it usable. Uh, no, I don't think this will be satisfactory. That's a rubber coating on that knife, but I'll probably send this to the shop so that Paladin Prepper can use it out there just for a utility knife out there. So that's, that's going out of my kitchen right now because I just tore this grip off. Okay, that's why you want to inspect uh, your kitchen utensils. Okay, here's two things. This comes from my mini chopper, and this comes from my blender. Both appear clean at first inspection. What I do with this is where the plastic part meets the blade, I can see a little space in there. And I go in here. Now, let me tell you why it's important on this piece of equipment. Okay, here, look down here. There we go. You would not see that. It looks perfectly clean to your eye. I would put that in the dish strainer and assume it's clean. I turn it over. I go here around this side. 
Okay, let me tell you why it's important, especially on this. I use this a lot of times. The little mini chopper is perfect for chopping up an egg very fine for tuna salad or egg salad or whatever. So lots of times egg is on this. I mean, it doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever food stuff is on there is growing bacteria if it's left. So use your Q-tip, um, Q-tip, use your uh, toothpick to go all around that. So all these will be rewashed. This uh, appears clean as well. This is the blade for my blender. I do the same thing. I get a Q-tip. Uh, why do I keep saying that? I get a toothpick and I come in here and there's two blades up and two blades down. Well, that blade that's down really bothers me because it's very difficult to get under it. But this is a brand new toothpick and as I scrub here with it, you can see you can mm -hmm. see that I'm getting stuff off. So I'm doing this as much for Prepper A as for you because I want her to know that bacteria is anytime you have food in there, here we go again, that's bacteria. That is bacteria you see there. And had I just put this back in the had I just put this back in the blender and used it that would be going into whatever we ate or drank. You don't want that. This is brand new, so I'm not going to be able to show you how to clean this because I just threw away my other one. But in my opinion, a can opener is the dirtiest piece of equipment in your kitchen. And I have seen people pull out handheld can openers that really, whatever food they were preparing, I would not have eaten it because they are so gross. This is a place where you really need a toothpick to go around all these bolts, to go around these gears to get under here and then wash it with hot soapy water and then I would even pour boiling water over it. Worse than the handheld can opener is the can opener, the electric can opener that you cannot immerse in water. I would not have one in my kitchen. I know they're convenient. I would not have one. It's almost impossible to clean them properly. This is my can opener of choice. This happens to be a swing away, which I think is the very best one. You may have to pay 10 or $11 for it, but it opens a can so quickly. I love them. Would not own an electric can opener. Uh, you just There's just no way to clean them. If you cannot immerse a food, uh, a, a piece of equipment in your kitchen that you use to prepare food, if you cannot immerse it in hot, soapy water, uh, I have issues with it. So just a little tip for you. Get out your, get out your toothpicks set you out a towel and put some of your equipment out and go see. Take out your clean uh, blender blade or your clean uh, food chopper or food processor blade. Uh, wet them down, let them soak for a minute and then get your toothpick out and go over them and see what you find. Uh, it will probably gross you out, but this is just a tip for how to keep your family well and you want that to happen. You want to keep your family well uh, because it's just the right thing to do. If you have any questions, um, please uh, send me a PM or post it in the comment section. And that's all for now. Cat's Cradle out.